<laughs> what do you mean you don't have your paperwork? Everybody got their paperwork, right? So uh, he started. He started treating him bad, man. He said that. Look What up, loved ones? What it do? It's Spotty Young right here. You know where I'm from. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're new to this channel right here, just hit the subscribe button real quick. Give it a like if you think it's cool, if you think it's real. Yeah, right now, man, on this episode, uh, we're going to talk about in details as to why I'm always talking about bringing prison politics to the streets. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like, what, you know, it doesn't sound good to me because prison doesn't sound good you know um why i always talk about street politics don't even count you know because everybody on the streets are supposedly gangsters and stuff like that so uh, we're gonna get into some story time this time again uh, a little bit of the details because i i've i actually just came up uh, i just i just remembered something i came up with this idea just the other day oh shit just, there is so much coincidence it's a small world man that we're living in so much coincidence are just like matching up with each other. So that's why I believe that everything that is uh, hidden in the dark will eventually come to light. You know, this is what I'm talking about. So here it is. But before I start, there's a few announcements that I want to make. So I'm finally going live for the first time, August 20, Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific time. So please come join me. I want to interact with everybody. I want to show my love and support to all my supporters, man. I want to, if I can just somehow, uh, I want to interact with everybody. Every, please join me and everyone's welcome. So, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys over there. If anything changes, I will let you know ASAP through my post or anything like that. But, yeah, expect me on August 20th. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys. 8 p.m. Pacific time, uh, Friday. So, there it is. For the first time, I'm gonna be doing that. So pushing forward, man. Let's 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 get right into it, man. Uh, why is this guy? Why 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 I'm always talking about uh, prison politics, bringing to the streets. If it's a good thing or a bad thing, how come the street politics don't count and stuff like that? Let's go all the way back to 2010, 2011. I was in uh, New Delano, Kern Valley State Prison. So those that are familiar, it's a level 4, 180 design. It's the highest maximum security yard. One of the highest uh, 180s design security yard. And uh, if you're familiar, New Delano also has a Old Delano, which is a North Kern State Prison, just right next door. Just basically like across the street or just next, nearby, nearby. And... Uh, it was a level three. It was a level three main line and reception, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong with, with anything. That's uh, Just get on the comment section or hit me up with a DM if there's something. Uh, I missed something right here. But I'm, this is, I'm remembering this from the best of my ability because this was back in the past. You know. So, uh, 2010-2011, uh, I believe this was a... I forgot which yard, A yard, and uh, seven block. A pare from Satanas pulled up. He came from that next door, the level three, the new delay, the, the old Delano, North Kern, NKSP. I guess he was messing up right there. He was, you know, probably just acting out, man. So his points, he started getting into trouble. His points came up to a level four points in which... Uh, they had he had he had to be transferred to a level four yard. So we ended up meeting each other You know, uh, I was in the cell first before he came in so I had the bottom bunk and uh, Yeah, uh, this was uh during this time uh, mind you we were an on-site war with the woods meaning when the door crack is all in cracking they're gonna have to try to do their best to take us down and then we will do our best of course to take their down to take them down that's just how it is it's nothing personal that's how prison works especially in the foreyard when it's wartime it's serious anywho uh yeah man so we uh, you know we sell them i met the party uh according to him in delano by the way 
uh, it's called Satanas Ilocano Gang. It's not like LASTS or uh, First Mo STS. They say it's Satanas Ilocano Gang. It's like SIG because most of the Satanas over there are Ilocanos or something like that. I'm just going by from what I remember. And uh, it was cool, man. This is a big old party, man. Every people, every 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 folks that would come in the door, black folks, and all the other races that would say what's up, because you know we was on lockdown. That's how you usually do it. People that are at war at lockdown, a lockdown, other people would come to your door and say what's up if you need anything or whatnot, and uh, they would trip out. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, folks? Hey, what's up, folks? And then uh, the, my pare, uh, my celly, the pare, big pare, and she, he always had to correct them like, ah, nah, I'm, I'm Pinoy, man. I'm a pare, man. Not a host. Oh shit, my bad. Because he looked like a Samoan looking at his motherfucker. He big and shit, man. So you know, he always uh, he got that long hair going on too. So everybody mistaken him for uh for a uso man, because you know you know how it is. Big old usos and shit. And uh yeah, so we were sellies. That I mean him coming coming to my cell made me feel I'm not gonna lie, uh better basically. Because uh you would want big guys on your team. You know what I mean? Because when it's wartime, it's wartime. You can use somebody that's that, that's big. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, because cause here's the thing. In the streets, when I was a little kid, yeah, it's Jeff Rocks versus everybody. It's, it's my hood. And uh, we don't like any other hood, basically. It's everybody killer. And... Uh, yeah, in the streets, we would be street enemies. If I was to go back uh, on that mindset of the street gang banging, then uh, I would have to hurt him or take him out on sight. And he, he might probably, probably would do the same thing to me. Who knows? You know, it just depends on that specific individual. So anyways, but I wasn't like, during that time, I was already had a different mindset, a prison mindset. I don't see things from the streets perspective. Those are for the little kids that never been really nowhere. And uh, I looked at him as my ally because uh, we're going to try to, uh, we're going to war with, with bigger race, with, with people that are way deeper than our car, than the Asian Islander car. So I looked at him as my ally. As a matter of fact, every 9 a.m., before 9 a.m., we would be ready on our shoes, laced up, ready to go. We already accepted our fate. Uh, our, our, on our section, that our section on seven block, we had uh, there was only two cells for the Asian on the car. It was only me, the pare from Satanas, and the homie fucking uh, dopey San Diego Bahala na Barcada man, crazy ass motherfucker man, shoe kick out. Uh, this guy is shorter and smaller than us, but. When he stabbed, he stabbed a gang of people, man. He's actually a shoe kick out. They don't even let him have a celly because that's how violent he is, according to the CDC's um, standards. And when he stabbed people, when he put in work for the car, and we, he got to do what he got to do. He loves violence, by the way. Uh, nothing. He doesn't fear shoe or anything or indeterminate shoe. Nothing. He, he has no, literally no fear, man. Happy guy, happy go lucky. He don't really give up about nothing. He got all day, man. Crazy guy. Anyways, you know how everybody else trying to stab people with a little cheap ass plastic, with the little pointy thing. It's like like a joke. Like they ain't really trying to kill motherfuckers. Not dopey though. Yeah, uh, you know his he has a reputation that uh, he's really gonna try to get you to really gonna try to end your life. And when, every time he stabs people, it's always with the big ass scary looking medals. He's not playing around. He wants the reputation that. He's murking fools. Because he got all day. That's his house forever. Until he dies. That's just how it is. This is a level 4 mentality. A lot of the homies right there. They're never, ever going to see the streets. It's just a sad reality. Uh, but anyways. Happy to have him on, on my team. Because uh, um, on the upper tier. And this, is, this is the lower tier and the upper tier. Me and the pare was on the lower tier. And then... Uh, the party dopey is on the upper tier, and next to his his neighbors are a bunch of uh, skinheads that are uh, there are three cells, and then uh, on the bottom tier is me and the party. This from what I remember, and there's uh, another wood 
and his cellie was uh, is on a wheelchair. So every time before 9 a.m. we would get ready. Uh, what do you call this? <laughs> Sometimes just to ease our time to make a little bullshit joke. Me and the me and the party would joke, man. Oh, I call dibs on the guy on, on, on the wheelchair when they crack the door open. You know what I mean? But of course that's not that's not what we're gonna do, but it's just it's just an inside joke. You know. So anyways, but it, it's serious man, uh because as soon as they, they crack the door open, the party uh dopey is gonna bust a grape. That's not that's you know he has no choice actually, that's you know you gotta do what you gotta do. And we're gonna rush because he's taking off right away. The, the woods are probably gonna take off right away, but we're gonna rush to go upstairs and help him out right away. So every before 9 a.m. When the police announces, get ready for yard, get ready for yard, my heart be pumping, you know, because not only that we have to worry about the woods trying to stab me, we have to worry about the tower being a trigger happy, and he has every right in the maximum security to shoot you in the head, no warning shot, no warning shot with a mini 14, whatever he wants, they have that right, because this is a level four yard, no warning shot. So anywho, it was a stressful uh, place. It was a stressful scenario, scenario uh, situation for me, especially I, I was in my younger years. But during that, during that time, I was already making uh, amends with everybody, especially with the most important thing, which is God. During that time, I basically read the whole Old Testament to the New Testament of New King James Version, the whole Bible. And the little narrator at the bottom where you there's like another perspective uh, person that's like trying to translate what they're trying to say. So I'm, I'm studying that. I'm making peace. I'm trying to be spiritually s strong, emotionally strong, everything strong, you know. But life gets serious because during lockdown, we both starve. We starve the same. Uh, his, my, my other big Sally is starving more. Of course, it's bigger. So he probably has to eat more. But we're all stressed out this is a stressful situation we even got into it one time uh i remember i was cleaning the the the, the, the little sink I, I, I like cleaning because you know in the foyard you just got you just got to be disciplined you got to clean and um i think we were, we were exchanging words and then he probably got pissed off because i got a smart mouth you know you know how it is so he hopped off the bed and flexed up with me like 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 he was gonna take off so I stopped what I was doing and flexed up too to show that I, I have no fear. I'll take, I'm not going to turn down no faith. Uh, if, you, if you beat me to death, you can take my life. And then if I can somehow pull you, because he had a long hair, I, I might pull your hair if I don't pull up your eye. I'll do, what, I'll do my best. But, but turning down no faith, uh, showing fear was, was, was not an option. But that was just a misunderstanding. He was basically just trying to test me, test my heart, I guess, because I was like the younger dude and he was like the older dude. But but mind you, he came from a three yard. I'm from the four yard. I never made it to the three yard. So I was in the four yard first. I was actually in the four yard first, like almost 10 years, you know, 180 and 270. Anyway, fast forward. This is where I want to talk about how everything are just like, it's a small world, it's just coincidence, man. So let me get to the, to the point of why, why uh, the street politics don't really count. Why people that are so-called so -called hardcore gangsters on the street are actually bitch made in prison. Why is this? Why have, I, why have I seen almost everything out of my 13 years experience being incarcerated? So this is just one example of so many. Uh, anywho, it just so happens that my other party, the, the, the celly, my celly that I was talking about, the big dude that came from a three yard, that fucked up and caught a level four points that went to the four yard with me. He was uh, in uh, he was in the three yard when a baby boy from Van Nuys, ABZ, pulled up. Uh, can't really say his government name, but we're just gonna say, you know, the the in in our world, the gang world, the people that are from the streets, they they know the business. Anywho, fast forward, I'm making this an example because it's no good, anyways. Uh, his, this story is coming from my my Sally that 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 he was telling me when he was selling with baby boy in the level three yard in reception. So, 
I said, uh, oh, so, so you from the Avon Nate? He asked me, yeah, yeah, buddy, I'm from the Avon Nate. You know, uh, that's where I'm from. She, that's where I stay. I'm from Valley Side, Jeff Rocks, woo, 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 woo. So I was there, right? And you know, uh, baby boy from uh, ABZ, I heard of him because I re actually I heard of him, bro, because uh, we all went to the same Fulton Middle School. He was he was a popular dude, man, baby boy. Uh, he was famous, you know. He was an active, super hardcore uh, gangster. He, you know, he people feared him, and it was a coincidence that two of my exes he tried to rape. He was a, he's a rapist. He was a sex offender on the streets. But nobody cares because nobody knows about being sex offender or gangster or anything. They're just all one of the same from the, from, from, uh, from the outside perspective looking in. All these rapists and criminals are the same. But we get it. You know what I mean? So he has a reputation going back to Baby Boy. He was a respected gang member from the Van Nuys ABZ. Uh, so fast forward... He ended up selling up with uh, with the party from Satanas, and then uh, as a homie that's coming into prison, you're supposed to give your paperwork, you know. So uh, for some reason, a baby boy was like, oh, "Man, I, I I don't have my paperwork. What the hell? <laughs> what do you mean you don't have your paperwork? Everybody got their paperwork, right?" So. Uh, he started, he started treating him bad, man. He said, that, look, dog, I'm going to give you a couple days. If you don't come up with your paperwork, man, I'm going to I'm gonna have to mix your shit. You, you know the business, man. I don't, you know what I mean? You, 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 know, you know what's up. As a matter of fact, man, get your ass on the a, on a upper bunk. Don't fucking take a piss. Don't eat. Don't come down until I tell you to. He's literally bullying him, dictate, uh, dictating how he's supposed to... Uh, sorry about that noise loud outside uh, he's dictating baby boy how to live his life inside the cell the the, the, the famous hardcore uh, gangster on the street you know what I mean so uh, uh, baby boy had an option Man, fuck you don't give a fuck I'll stab you right now or something do something pull your hair or fucking win the fight whatever you gotta do but he didn't he just allowed himself to be punked and bullied in which the body from Zatanas, he was just doing that, just based on that, uh, he was hearing from the other Kamai homies that there's rumors about him being no good. So that's the reason why he's asking for his paperwork and he cannot, he cannot produce the paperwork. So that's why he's punking him. Man, you can, I, I can't even, I, based, I'm not gonna get into the details of what he was told me about how he was punking him, except for the to the to the raping part. We, you know, that's not allowed in GP, uh, only in PC. Anyways, yeah, man. So this is uh this is the whole point of, of what I'm trying to say. After a couple of days of him trying to act like I got you, I got I got you, I got you, pal. I'm a I, I got my my paperwork, my 128 G. I'm gonna get it, man. I'm good. I'm good. If you're good, then why are you allowing to, the, the, your city to, to bully you or punk you if you were good? Obviously, he wasn't good because after a few days, I think he went to Chow or something, and then he never came, came back. He just basically locked it up and rolled it up, meaning he PC it up, meaning he never came back to mainline, meaning he started going to the police, snitching, I don't want to go back to the cell. Let me, let me go to the PC because I'm in, scared for my life. You know what I mean? So, this is just this is just one example, man. I can name I, I, this. I've seen a lot from Juvenile Hall to CYA. All the street shit really don't count because I I was one of those wannabe gangsters on the street. I literally thought I was hard because I have we have a lot of guns. It made me feel like I was God, like I was a man. But I was scared shitless when I went to the pen and I had to face people without substances or without being under the influence, without, without the alcohol, liver gurge, without a gun, without a knife, without a weapon. 
you know later did i later did my older homies taught me how to use elbow everything so that's my this is this basically this episode is just showing uh one example from so many example why the street politic don't count because you're not gonna find out if there's a real one till you go in there until you tap out till you catch all your fades so you, you know what i mean till you go all the way because everybody can talk a good one man like me when i was a little kid out you know what i mean i'll do life but how would you feel if you started doing 30 years in the shoe in the hole in determined shoe for 30 years would you still feel the same way how you felt before you went to that shoe i don't know i don't know about all that if so then you must like prison and you really do deserve to be in there but i hope not and i hope even kids anybody civilians anybody i hope they understand what i'm trying to say in my point uh with this little story that i that i want to share uh this is a uh, you know uh, I, I can i can name a few i can name a lot and uh there were just so much coincidence and that my, my uh this is out of subject by the way that's the same i, I found out the same story that happened next door and the, on new delano the nerd Curse state prison this is where i found out from the party that uh, uh shout out to uh party ninja from uh from from bahalana They were set tripping. They were on some street shit. They were, they 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 took off on the on the Satanas. Four BNGs orchestrated a a little riot with their own people with four Satanas. I don't know why. That that's their thing, you know. But if you're if yeah, I don't even see that. I don't see. I don't even see it like that. When when we were over there in in the foreyard, we don't see things as how it was before when we were little kids so this is just my point of view this is just my perspective uh this is why this is why this is what the the, the hate from your own people in which you will understand more as we get older and uh, we're gonna start to look at the bigger picture man you know so yeah that's it for now Thank you everyone. Hopefully come visit come join me on my little live August 20, 8 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you very much. With that being said, y'all know what time it is. Say what you mean and mean what you say, cause real recognize real homeboy. I'm out of here. Yeah.